Hey there, it's Katie, and tonight I thought we'd talk about your Night Scout site and the need to periodically clean out databases. Uh, When you set up your Night Scout site, it comes with a free database of 500 megabytes. So all of your loop data, all of your Night Scout data, it all goes up into that database and eventually will fill up. It doesn't just fill up with data in one big chunk. It also has to do with how efficiently the data is packed together within that database. So there's two ways that you talk about the database size. One is the size, which is how much data is stored. And the other is size on disk, which is how efficiently that data is kind of strewn across the database. So even though similar with grains of rice, where you have a bowl of rice and all the grains are tightly packed together, if you took those same grains of rice and spilled them on the floor, they would occupy a pretty wide space. that's sort of like data and in your database. And so we're gonna do two steps. One, we're gonna reduce the number of grains of rice. And then number two, we're gonna sweep them all closer together so that they fit into a tinier space. So the first step is cleaning out some data space. And the way we do that is we can clear out some of the old data that's been stored in there. So let's go ahead and look at your database. How do we get there? We log into your Heroku account, and then on the front page of your control panel, on the overview tab, you're gonna have your MongoDB database. And if you click on this, it's going to open your database into a page that looks like this one. So I'm just gonna pull this over so we can see it a little bigger. And basically this shows all the different categories of data that's stored in your database. So, Device status is things like your loop. It's how the prediction line is going, how your loop pill is, how your pumps are, all of that kind of stuff is stored in device status. Uh, Entries are your CGM readings and treatments are your insulin, carbs, temp targets, temp basils, all that kind of stuff. So usually what we recommend for cleaning out the number of grains of rice, in other words, the data size, is we're gonna delete this one because you can still pull your reports out of Night Scout regarding time and range and things that your endocrinologist probably want to see. So we'll go to this one. We'll click on device status. And somehow I got logged out of there. Hold on. Let me go back. Let's try that one more time. I'm going to go here. That apparently is an old one. So we go here. So click on device status. And we're going to click on the delete all documents. There are 15,698 documents. We're going to delete them all. Generally speaking, MLab doesn't do a good job of cleaning all of these out on the very first try. Oh, we got lucky. Yay. Okay. So it deleted them all on the first try. If all of them did not delete on the first try, go ahead and just keep deleting until that 15,000 number gets all the way to zero. So now we've cleaned out size. We're down to... 117 megabytes, that's great. But our size on disk is still precariously high to that 500 limit and we wanna shrink that down. So the next thing we need to do is sweep all those grains of rice closer together and make it smaller on the size of disk. And the way we do that is a command that is under the tools button. So the way we're navigating, sorry, I didn't clear this out, but home button up at the top and clicking on the database name. Those are our two navigation tools. So I'm clicking on the database name. Then we go to tools, commands, and then we're gonna select the run command as repair database. And I'm gonna scroll down. So you can see the command we're gonna issue is repair database. Click on the run command button This one doesn't always take on the first try. Uh, Sometimes it says, ooh, we sent it, but it didn't run right away. That means it's queued up. So you might have to wait a little bit. Sometimes you get a response back that says, okay, and that means the command ran. Um, So you run the command. You can run it again if you want. Doesn't really do anything bad to run it multiple times. But after you run it, you do want to go back to your size on disk and see if it was successful in compacting or reducing that size on disk. And it was. Yay! We went from 496 down to 240. That's exactly what you want to see. And that will restore good working order to your database. 
Um, so again, if you're having problems with CGM data not loading or other things kind of getting clunky in your Night Scout site, come on to your MLab, check your size and your size on disk, clean out some of the grains of rice by deleting your device status collection documents, and clean out your size on disk, make them all get closer together, sweep them together, and you'll have a much more, uh, much happier Night Scout experience. Um, how often to do this is probably the next question. I usually do it about every three months, kind of randomly when I think about it. When we go to an endocrinologist visit, I sort of time it at the same time. That's usually when I think about it. So anyway, hope that helps you guys. It's a pretty simple process, not so bad. You just need to make sure that your size and size on disk are both uh, nicely not at 496. All right, have a good one.